So here is the magical power hacksaw in the flower and elbow workshop. And uh, now on the left you can see and hear the inverter fan whirring. That's temporarily rigged up um, to try it out. And we're just going to cut a, an angle, 22.5 degree angle in this bit of old steel pipe that we dug out of our friend Dave's garden. And that's going to form a little bit of the wood stove that we're building at the moment. Okay, so I'll just flick it on at the inverter. It starts up. Okay, obviously I haven't put it down yet, but you can just hear how quiet that is. <laughs> it's quite nice. You can hardly hear it over the inverter fan, actually. Okay, so I'll just set that going. You just sort of lift it up. There's a little rod back there. You can see it'll drop through, and then it'll come down. Making that funny noise. And away it goes. Happily working away now. So at the moment I've got the inverter set so it's running um, about a third of the frequency of like mains normal frequency uh, so it's going a lot slower than it would do that's because I haven't got any coolant set up for it and also because it's sort of on wheels on this base here so at some point we'll have to set up a nice um, sort of level base, maybe even bolt it down and we can ramp the speed up. So it's not actually that slow and it's reasonably accurate as well. The clamping mechanism, like I'm trying my best to get this at 22.5 degrees, but it's quite difficult to adjust the clamps. I mean it's all quite robust and things, good vice, but really difficult to adjust the angles of so I don't know whether we'll try and rig something else up there or what we'll do but yeah the thing I really like about this is just how quiet it is compared to using an angle grinder or a chop saw or uh, any of those things okay it's obviously not as fast it doesn't make so much mess there we go it's through Off. So there we go. Just have a little look. So there's the cut. And that's the magical automatic hacksaw.